So I'll return to this bed that I looked at last week because the Eurythroniums are really now peaking. They've come on very quickly. It's been very warm for us. I mean, a lot of sunshine. So you can see that they're mostly common. Pink, white and yellow. That's the primary colours of these. So down here we have the hybrid Erythronium Joanna. It's a cross between a pink and a yellow, so it's a cross between Erythronium revolutum and Tuluminense that you see up there, the yellow one. Down in there, that's a Californicum. If we scan down the leaves, we can see here <coughs> very clearly the difference between the this is the Eurasian complex, these are dense canis leaves. Very distinct when compared to the, the pattern we see if we move over. The patterns you'll see on North American species leaves. That's excepting the eastern coast, the Americanum and Albidum, which are like the dense canis leaves. So I'll come down, quick look. Erythronium revolutum. We're moving along. Craigson. Cover girl, one of our own hybrids. Along here, another of our hybrids, Craigton Cream, Helene hybrid. It's got the bent style, typical of Helene. Nice yellow centre, faint zigzag marking, suggesting that Californicum White Beauty could be one of the other parents. So as we come along, yeah, more. Here's an interesting little group of seed-raised ones that we've raised from our garden seed, so we're starting to get hybrids. Here's one with a bit of pink on the, the petals. This one more just typical green. This one here crossed with um, Hendersonii with us, that lovely purple throat and purple violet anthers. I'm getting a faint scent here off of the Helene hybrid. Come in here. What do we have here? This is a Tulumanense. Stray Tulumanense. Down here, just coming out, is, uh, this is Multiscapoidium. Just starting to come out here. Still a gap here, as the Montanums are not up, but next to it, these tiny little ones. This is Clamathensi going over. Some of them, you can see they often they'll pick up a purple colour as they go over. Next to that, one of the earlier, we're just coming into the Erythronium elegans, a later one to flower with us. Here a nice group of Revolutum. Typical expanded Fil filaments expanded towards the base, yellow pollen, faint marking in the centre, and then if we just pan around, here we have Oregonum, similar shape to the filaments, a bit white here, really nice forms of Oregonum. Another group, another basket of the our Helene hybrid, Craigton Cream. Beyond that, this is a fine Tuluminense hybrid. This is one of John Walker's hybrids. This is Mini Haha. Really nice garden plant. And then along here, just other forms of other baskets of seed, often from Californicum. Sometimes from White Beauty. So many of them we just assess that they don't need any further work and We'll, we'll lift them into the garden. Here's a, here's one that's an interesting little hybrid. So, you know, when we raise from seed, we get all sorts of things from our garden seed. So that's just a quick review across this bed. As it is today, because if this heat stays up and we still get sunshine and it remains quite dry, these flowers won't last for too much longer. And then I have to wait a whole year before I get more. <laughs>